What's going on you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can help someone who is going through psychosis. Don't let me drown. This video was so highly requested and I cannot believe I haven't done it already. So today's video is a helpful one, I hope. That's kind of the intention behind it. So someone who is psychotic is someone who is disconnected from reality in psychosis, delusions, hallucinations. How you can help someone, I think this is a really big important thing to say. Do not buy into their emotions. Don't play into it. Like if someone's psychotic, if someone is having delusions, don't buy into it, please. That's the worst thing that you can do because it makes them believe that it's okay and that it's rational. And they will spiral. Like that, that's just point blank out there. And people have done this with me. They've tried to just like go along with it, you know, no big deal, she'll be fine. And it's made me 10 times worse. So I'm just like, oh, I can go even further into this. And you just carry on going. And you end up at a point where, how the fuck did I get here? It doesn't make sense. The best thing you can do to help someone with psychosis is encourage them to take medication, go see a doctor, consider going inpatient. They are honestly some of the best thing you can do for a person who's like that. I know for me going into hospital helped a lot, especially when I reach really really depressed states or when I really manic state. I tend to get hospitalised around them points. Another thing you should avoid doing to help someone is pretending you're a doctor. You are not a doctor, you are not qualified. See so that actual doctor. Don't go online, don't do research. This video is not a medical resource. Go and speak to someone who's trained in it, whether it costs money or not. Their life is more important. Someone who is psychotic, someone who is manic, someone who is experience of hallucinations and delusions is just as much at risk of suicide as someone who's depressed. Even more so because some people can think they're invincible and they can do anything and then therefore jump off a building. They're actually very high risk to themselves and that is why they're usually hospitalised. Never assume things either because anyone who experiences it is different. Same with anxiety, like people always say like, well how can you have anxiety if you do YouTube? Answer, I talk to a camera. Isn't another person, it's a camera. Yes, people watch the video but I don't care about that. Making videos does not trigger my anxiety. Real life humans trigger my anxiety. Hence why I'm on so much medication. I'm um, talking on medication again if someone's experiencing psychosis the best thing for them usually is medication and I know they're all like anti-medication people out there I'm not one of them. For me medication is a lifesaver. It keeps me stable and allows me to be stable enough to work on myself. I take antipsychotics, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication as well as sleeping tablets. I have a fair share. It's a pretty crazy collection but it's a com combination that works for me. I'm actually seeing I'm gonna call my GP tomorrow and see if I can go on to depot the antipsychotic just because I keep throwing up when I have tablets and have like three less that'll help me more than that's something I'd recommend especially to people who are experiencing psycho who experience psychosis regularly and um, don't be afraid of asking to go on to a depot like I'm gonna make this call tomorrow and I'm probably gonna record the journey and post it because it's a big one it's a big step and it's me saying that this medication works for me and it helps me and I want to continue taking it even though it makes me ill so I'm going around it and making it easier I and mean, then I know it works for me. I used to be on depot injection for clozapine which is a very strong antipsychotic. I'm not on that anymore. I've been on haloperidol. Very strong antipsychotic. I can't function properly on it. It doesn't work for me. Quetiapine does work for me. Alanzapine makes me ill. <laughs> I don't have the best of medication but antipsychotics are, they are like that medication has helped me so much. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. If you do have any questions or anything you'd like me to answer, please leave them in the comments down below. Please know though that at the moment comments are on review only basis, so all comments go through a filter because of the level of hate I've been receiving. Uh, so yeah, thank you for your support, thank you for watching, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button.